let's go over how to quickly write up a clinical note. Keep in mind your clinical notes are tied to specific dates of service on your calendar. If there's other documentation you want to do that's not associated with a specific visit, you may want to consider other tools we have available, such as the communication log, tasks, or other notes. Okay, let's get started by clicking on an appointment on your calendar. And here, click the green View Clinical Note button. This will open up a new tab with the clinical note. On the left-hand side, you have your H&P workflow, your SOAP note workflow, and any additional forms. Say this is an H&P note. You can review any of your patient's check-in information here, including any notes that they left about their medications, allergies, and medical conditions, any reasons for visit that they selected, and any free text related questions and comments will appear here. Your clinical note will be comprised of any form sections you fill out here on the left hand side, as well as any fields that you have filled out. You'll see here that there are a handful of different fields that you may interact with. For instance here, this is a multiple select, you have a free text box on the right hand side, and you have a single select here. Also at the end of each form section, you do have a yellow sticky note section where you can add any additional notes where you may not have a field built out. You can also use macro buttons here as well as in any text box. This section is one example of a persistent template. And what that means is you can see here in a prior visit, I have filled out the patient's medical history and it automatically carries that information into today's visit. There's a switch at the top if you want to include this information in today's clinical note. And it'll also notice if you make any changes to any of these fields, it'll automatically switch it to yes to show the information on the note for today. We'll go over how to make a form persistent in another video. Here in the medications and allergies section, you can review the patient's medication list, allergies list, and also check for any interactions between the two. To add to either the medication or allergy list, click this plus icon, enter in the drug information, and hit save. You can also write up an e-prescription by clicking new ERX, and this will take you to the send ERX portion of the patient chart. From any of these form sections, you will see that there is this vitals button where you can click and review the vitals for the patient. You can also print or fax just this one section. For instance, if you're in the plan section and the patient wants to have a copy of the plan, you can always print this out for their records. From the clinical note here, if you ever need to review anything in the patient chart, you can always click Quick History and this will open up the patient chart in a new tab. For instance, if you want to review any documents related to the patient or any past clinical notes, you can access that here. If you leave any fields blank or any of these forms blank, they simply will not show up on your clinical note. I always do recommend at the end of your patient interaction, even if you're not yet ready to sign and lock the note, click the blue view complete note button. This will take you to a preview of what your clinical note looks like for this visit. And it also serves essentially as a save as and saves a copy of this form in our servers. From here, if you're completely done, you can click sign and lock to sign and lock your note. Or if you need to just move on to your next patient and come back to this note later, you can always close out of this note and then move on to your next visit. Say at the end of the day, you want to see what clinical notes you have not yet signed and locked. You can come here to clinical, clinical notes, set a date range, and you'll see various statuses on the right-hand side. Start note means it has not yet been started yet. Edit means it has been started. View note will mean it has been started and signed and locked. Then just click this edit here. It will take you back to the clinical note. You can make any adjustments as needed. And then you can sign and lock the note by clicking view complete note. From here, if you want to print specific sections, you can. When I click sign and lock the note, 
it will automatically include my e-signature down at the bottom of every page. After signing and locking a note, I do not recommend unlocking a note as auditors and insurance companies see this as a red flag since they don't know what you've changed in the clinical note. Instead, I do recommend clicking add amendments if you do need to add something and say the patient called and says rash has worsened. When you click add new amendment, this will add it to the very end of this clinical note and the amendment will have its own date and timestamp. So that's a quick overview of how to write up a clinical note. I do recommend that you go to your calendar and schedule in a fake patient, click start visit, and walk through the process of writing up that clinical note and signing and locking it. In some other videos, we will go over the specific form builder and the form builder tools to help you set up those forms for your clinical notation.